on the station that's on your side. This is Channel 7 News. Good morning, Arkansas. Hey, everybody. Welcome back into Channel 7. So happy to be joined today by Jacob Rice from Bank of Little Rock Mortgage. And today we're talking about our year-end review. So we're looking forward to 2022. And Jacob, I know that the housing market in 2021, I know that if we made a Christmas card of the housing market in 2021 or a holiday card, would it just be something that literally lit on fire because of how hot the market was? It would be one of those magic tricks. I mean, how would you sum up the year that that we all just went through in the housing market in general? Right. Yeah, Chris. Yeah, thanks for having me. Um, it, we had another busy year. It, it, it would be one of those... Uh, on fire type of Christmas cards. Uh, it slowed down a bit from from 2020, but um, overall it was it was a great year. I mean, we still continue to see an influx of people looking to upsize and downsize their homes, and uh, it made it pretty interesting. With the you know, housing inventory was still, you know, still a bit short. So um, it's going to be uh, interesting to see how this goes into next year. Um, but we've still had a lot of eager buyers out there. Let's talk about forecasts for a minute. What are you seeing right now in terms of projections for 2022, at least early on in the near future? Right. Yeah, I mean, we started to see home prices uh, increase from 2020 into 2021. And, uh, you know, I think experts are going to say that, you know, the housing market might slow a little bit or, or kind of, you know, uh, normalize in 2022. But it's hard to really say. Uh, there's going to be a couple of factors that, that kind of play a role into how how well it does. Um you know, depending on what the feds do with rates, mortgage rates could continue to change um, and that could that could slow interest down a little bit or, or bring prices, um, you know, to some more normal levels. Also, uh, home builders are able to catch up and and if there's more inventory on the table, then then that'll uh, allow shoppers to uh, have more choices and, and, and really, uh, really go from there. So, uh, yeah, with expectations, I think, you know, 2022 is going to continue uh, so far, in the, in the near uh, in the near point, at least with, with what what we saw in twenty one this year, uh, but you never quite know. Some of these things could start changing. Now, looking at the data, now that we're starting to get to the year end and more data points are coming in, who was buying homes? Uh, m the majority. Who? What were you yeah. in terms of who was buying in twenty twenty one, and 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 what kind of new home buyer numbers are coming in? Right. Yeah, we continue to see a lot of first time buyers. You know, millennials are buying homes. We haven't yet maybe seen too much of, of Gen Z come in into the picture much, but um, also uh, a lot of folks that were looking to trade up, you know, get into a next bigger home for, you know, increased family size. Um, and then even also, you know, folks that were retiring and looking and getting in smaller properties. So um, a lot of what came into is, you know, these were, uh, you know, your typical life changing uh, factors that were leading to most of the, the interest. And, and with low rates, it really made it easy for, for people to, uh, you know, get into bigger homes, you know, get into a smaller payment with a smaller home if they're retiring. And, um, you know, that that really kind of drove the market. What about anticipation of any of the any shifts in terms of buying homes in 2022? Are you anticipating any shifts or is Gen Z coming into the picture sooner or do you still expect maybe a later later push by that generation yeah you know i think with low rates uh it's really you know the the, the ball's been in their court you know with uh you know it's been a great time to buy so if rates are going to still remain pretty low um it's going to be a great opportunity for them to enter the market um and and drive them to want to do so um you know something that was in common for the last year or 18 months was we we're seeing a lot of people uh, going to uh, secondary homes, you know, working from home, wanting to be in a more maybe re remote location, uh, have some peace of mind around them, you know, enjoy it. So we were seeing some vacation spots open up like Hot Springs and the Ozarks and stuff like that. Um, also investment properties, you know, people were investing more in um, in other properties that they could, um, they could rent out and see a, a cash flow from. So buying a home is a big leap, especially if it's your first time. If Certainly. someone is watching this right now, or if they know someone who's thinking about it, um, how would you encourage them to to come and talk with you and maybe take that next step in the process to to getting that dream come true, which is you know owning owning a home and, and having a house they could say is theirs? Right. Yeah. A great piece of advice would be to really understand what you're looking for. Look at you know home you're trying to get into. What are your needs and wants on that home? Uh, and then also surround yourself with uh, good professionals, real estate agents, 
uh, lenders such as us that can talk you through and, and talk with you about what your maximum budget is, uh, what what can you afford, maybe what you want to try to avoid, and um, and put together that team. So because this going into next year, you're still going to want to act as though uh, with some urgency. You know, you want to be prepared for that transaction. Homes are coming onto the market and not lasting very long. So if you're going to find the right home. Uh, do these, you know, do these steps. Pre-qualify with a lender. Talk to us about it. Uh, we can, you know, connect with real estate agents and, and talk over those options with those, you know, with those professionals as well. The best way to do that really is just to visit us on our website. Uh, give us a call as well. Um, I think you might have some information on that, right. but our, our it direct is right. number is 501-219-9100, and our website is blrmortgage.com. Thank you so much, Jake. We appreciate your time, information on your screen to contact them. And we'll talk with you next time. And Happy New Year to you. Thanks for your time. Happy New Year. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year.